Hi, I'm Aiden Woodward. The title of my message is I Will Be With You, and the verses I will be referencing are Exodus 3, 6 through 8, Exodus 4, 1, and 2 Corinthians 12, 9. Thank you. In my freshman year of high school, my youth pastor at the time asked me if I would start a Bible book. The problem was, is I go to a pretty large public high school full of non-believers. At the time, I was confused why he asked me, the freshman, instead of the million other kids that could have done it. At this time, I felt this sense of fear rising, and I told him what anybody would say, I'll pray about it. <laughs> this situation reminds me of the story of Moses in the Bible. I'm sure that many of you have heard this story, or maybe you've seen the Prince of Egypt as a kid. In Exodus 3, 6, God speaks to Moses and tells him that his people have been suffering in Egypt, that he has come down to pry them loose from Egypt. In this story, Moses asks two very important questions. Why me and what if? Which leads me to my first point. Number one, why me? In Exodus 3, 6, it says, it's time for you to go back. I'm sending you to Pharaoh to bring my people, the people of Israel, out of Egypt. Moses answered God, but why me? What makes you think I could ever go to Pharaoh and lead the children of Israel out of Egypt? Think about what Moses is saying right now. But why me? Why would God use someone raising this function? A coward, a murderer. Moses was only focused on how he saw himself and failed to realize that God saw him as so much more. In this moment when God assigns Moses this task, he becomes overwhelmed because he knows himself. Yeah, yeah. He knows the things that he's done in his past. But it's not what Moses can't do, it's what God can do. Let me rephrase that. It's not what you can't do, it's what God can do. Come on, come on. The next question we ask God is what if? What if I step out and follow the calling that God has placed on my life and fall flat on my face? What if no one wants to follow me? What if no one gets saved? What if my best isn't good enough? What if everyone sees me as a joke? In Exodus 4, 1, Moses asks God those same kind of questions. It says, what if they won't believe me or listen? What if they say the Lord never appeared to you? Moses had many insecurities and fears. In my story, I started asking myself, what if I get in front of everyone and I can't speak? What if no one wants to listen to what I have to say? What if everyone looks at me differently after? In that moment, I kept focusing on my own weakness instead of focusing on God's greatness. You've got to remember 2 Corinthians 12, 9 says, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. You see, it's okay to have weakness because God uses our weakness for his power. But are you too focused on your own weakness instead of focusing on God's greatness? Good. After we ask the questions, why me and what if, the next point is God's answer to those questions, which is beautifully stated in Exodus 3.12. I will be with you. Moses did not become one of the most significant figures in the Bible because of his own abilities. No, it was the presence of God that empowered him. In moments of panic, insecurities, and doubts, God was with him. And even when he looked like the most unlikely person to be used by God, that confidence that he had came from that promise that he was given. Moses, I will be with you. Looking back at my 14-year-old self full of fear and worry, I remember what gave me the confidence to step out and obey God. I stopped focusing on myself and my words. I actually prayed. I stopped focusing on the why me's and the what if's, and I reminded myself what God could do through me. Sure enough, the first week had over 120 kids show up. And in the midst of my fear, God spoke through me, and I did more than, any, than I could ever imagine. <laughs> Whenever you're feeling like you can't do something that God has called you to do because you're not smart enough, not qualified enough, or even because of your past, remember that God will still use you and God will always be with you. Yeah, Today is your day to say yes to God. Will you let God use you? Thank you. Yeah.